Hello, Gun Nation. Big Johnson coming at you. All right. Y'all know that I'm into rifles, pistols, etc. Also an ex-technician on automobiles and aviation. So I am not unfamiliar with boroscopes. Owned them in the past, high-end ones, way back in the day when they, hell, when they kind of first came out, I had one. Uh, super, super expensive back then. You know, worked pretty well. They had their quirks, things like that. Here we are in 2023. I reached out to Tess Long. You know, boroscopes are a great thing if you're working on cars still, doing home improvements, going into dashboards, going into walls, going into rifles, pistols, things like that. Check out your barrels, lands, grooves, etc. So I did reach out to them and I said, hey, I want to uh, start checking inside of my pistols, rifles, etc. Kind of told them what I was doing, what I had, got with their uh, director, super nice guy, we emailed back and forth, and I said, I kind of want to do all of these. So we kind of put a kit together. You know, it's basically a NTG 500 with a monitor. We've got the 10 inch hard uh, pistol. You can go into really short rifles, PDWs, things like that with this. And then a uh, NTG 100. So it's kind of all put together uh, kind of put this kit together for me. You can buy them separately, things like that. Uh, you can buy the NTG 500 separately with the monitor or the NTG 100. You can hook these up to your Android phones. Now, if you want to do it with an iPhone, they've got like a Wi-Fi compatible version. Uh, however, this one has the monitor and I really do like the monitors. That's what I've used in the past. Again, back in my old trades. Uh, with aviation and uh, automobile uh, repairs. And so I'm very familiar with a monitor rather than looking on your phone, etc. But I kind of wanted to show you this. It's actually really cool. Uh, now we've got the box here. We'll get into this in just a second. Let's get into the big box right now, into the big unit. So it does come in a really nice case. Um, you know, it's kind of like a gun case, which you're familiar with. And it does have these small buckles I'll show you right here. The only thing, if you're really going to beat up the case, the only thing I've noticed about the case, when you flip this open, you'll see this little thin piece of metal. Now, I haven't had any issues with it, but I kind of wish this was more, I guess, uh, robust, this little lever right here. I could see maybe over a period of time, or if you caught it on something, it would be easily bendable. This little thin piece of metal right here. It's not super thin, like a wire but it's just not super, super robust. But we'll go ahead and pop these open. I'm just kind of critiquing everything as I go. You know, now back in the day when you would buy these for like $3,000, you know, they would come in a very similar case, but much, much bigger because those were larger units. Now they've been able to kind of compress them down. And I'm gonna be very honest with you. I have already played with this. This thing is super, <laughs> I mean, super, super advanced for 2023 compared to like 20 years ago. Uh, and the price point, I mean, you're talking thousands and thousands of dollars back in the day. Um, this thing is very, very uh, price conscious. You know, I'll put links below if you want to check them out. But when you open it up, you know, you're getting the case, just some, you know, basic kind of hard foam, like not the pick and pull, but where it's kind of, you know, cut out and stuff like that. You know, what you're used to with some higher end pistols where they're kind of molded and cut out. It does come with really nice, uh, really nice, you know, kind of uh, instructions, you know, kind of telling you what to do and things like that. You know, I was very surprised with their, you know, their instructions, honestly. And they've got like a little return label in here if you have any issues, you know, the boroscope, how to use the monitor. You know, it comes with quite a bit of stuff in here. The monitor is rechargeable. Now, of course, this is the NTG 500 unit with the monitor. So basically you charge it. There's a charging port right here. You just pop the cover off right there. I'll kind of pop this open and show you. It's a little, little kind of rubber thing. And then there's your port right there. And it does have an SID card in here. Uh, ready to go for you. So there are, is already one in there. And then you just turn it on. You know, it's just got the little on. Has a bunch of different, uh, well, I guess if I press it, it might come on. 
you just press the power button, it fires up and then kind of shows you, you know, what's going on, but uh, super easy there. And then it says no camera because there's not one hooked up. And then, you know, this is actually a little bracket holder, so you can screw this on the back and it'll hold it, tilt it forward. And I'll have some uh, videos showing how to use it. I'm just doing a really quick box opening. You've got a soft, you know, cable. This plugs in and this is kind of a soft, or this is the softer unit. So what you'll do is you basically plug this into the top for the monitor to actuate. So this snaps down in there. And then that's how this feed arm goes in. And then you're gonna put your, your end on here, whether it be the hard end of this 10 inch or the soft end. So in the way that this works, Here's the soft end, or it's not really soft. It's kind of like got a wire inside. You can see it's kind of, you know, sturdy. And your camera's right here on the end. So you've got this little cover and that's your camera. So this pops off. And to put this on, it kind of shows you, hey, here's how you put it on. And there's like charging cables. There's all kinds of stuff in here. But when you put this together, you'll see, I'm gonna kind of show you, there's a little red dot right there, and there's a little cut opening here. So basically, you push those together, you screw it on, so you put the slot into the red dot. And then here's your camera. So on this, and of course this is a very wide angle view, but on this, you know, we'll just look at the instructions, but that's your camera. So when you put it down into something, you know, that's how it works. Now you can turn up the light intensity and things like that. I'll show you here on this one. See how it dims, dims more, goes off. Comes on, dims, dims, goes off. So you can actually adjust your light. So that is really cool. But on the end of this, you've got these little threads and you've got a little washer or like a little lock ring. You can see the lock ring right on the end. And then on here, you have like all these different mirrors. So it'll go from 22 caliber, 40 caliber, you know, rifle. I mean, it goes 22, 243, 30 caliber, 38 caliber, 40 caliber. So these are some of the mirrors right here. And the way that the mirrors look is you pop this open, has like a little foam in here. And then there's your little mirror ends. So they screw on here. I'll just show you really quickly. This is for a 22. It's gonna be kind of small and I've got big old fingers. I don't know, let me try to hold it so you can see it a little better. But there's your mirror and then here's the end. So what you do is you actually screw it on to the end of this camera. Have to be patient with me. <laughs> Like I said, I've got really, really big hands and these are very small units. And then once you screw this on and you get it to the end that you want, you just screw your little lock right there to where it butts up against it. That's how you lock it on there. And you adjust this back and forth to find what you need. So I'm gonna show you the monitor So if you were going in a barrel, you know, anything like that, there's your mirror and that's what you'd be seeing. And in this video, I actually will go inside of like a 22 barrel or something like that so you can see it. But it has different adapters, different setups. And then here's your hard. You know, I really do 
I like the soft one or the softer one, but I actually really enjoy this hard one. And it does come with, you know, it does come with this uh, if you choose to use that. However, when you plug in, this is to like plug in if you're gonna use your Android phone and stuff like that, it has different plugs. And there's different uh, lenses that come with this one. Also different mirrors for even bigger calibers. And then here is your hard uh, rod. It has the camera on the end, which has the cover on it, and you screw this on. And if you're going into the barrel, and I don't, it's going to be very, very hard to see, but there's like little, you know, like two inch, three inch, four inch. And if you found some some damage or something in your barrel, you could actually slide this up to the end of your muzzle. So when you pull it out, this is kind of a guide to show you how far you were in there and where the damage was. So these are really cool. And it has, it's not completely round, it has flats on the side. So it kind of gives you something to hold your fingers on and adjust. So this is actually really cool. But we're going to be checking the inside of the 22s and things like that. I've had people say, oh my gosh, your SIG P322 is probably lead fouled and all of these other things. That's what I've heard. So we're going to be checking them out. But I appreciate you stay tuned and we've got uh, more in this video. Hello, Gun Nation. Big Johnson coming at you. All right, everybody ask, you know, hey, is your Taurus getting uh, gunked up or, you know, let it up or anything like that? Well, this Taurus uh, TX-22 competition with the tandem cross parts, you know, I've cleaned it. I've never noticed it getting let up, let it up, but I've cleaned it. Mine does have the comp on it, the tandem cross Pro 2. So let's run the uh, test long in there, they were gracious enough to send the uh, boroscope out. This is the 10 inch rod for pistols. And we're gonna run that in there and see what I get with the Taurus TX-22. So we are heading in the comp. You can see this here. Going in the comp, the comp does have a lot of lead in it and gunk like that. So we're heading in there. Now we're through the comp going into the barrel, and here's your barrel. So I can see the lands, the grooves, all of that kind of stuff. Still looks really good. From what I can see. I'm just turning it so you can see all the lands and the grooves. The way that I clean these is I run boar snakes through them I don't really like run patches and all of that other stuff. But there's more lands and grooves. I'm trying to spin it around inside there and show you. I don't see a bunch of copper or any of that kind of gunk in there. Headed back towards the chamber area. Still checking out all the lands and the grooves. I don't really see of any build ups and build up in there. Go down in there a little bit deeper. Let me know if y'all see anything weird. I'm not really seeing anything weird. Now we'll move back farther. Still not seeing anything weird. Now we'll move back farther. And this has, you know, I don't know if that's carbon or lead or what, but now we're almost back into the chamber area, you know, the ejection area. So let me know what that is. All you professional guys, let me know what that is. 
Is that lead carbon buildup maybe that I haven't gotten out? It looks kind of carbon to me. There's little chunks of stuff. We can see that right there. That stuff right there, those two silver pieces, that might be lead. But it could be carbon too. I don't know. You know, I just see it right there. I'm going to spin it around. But this test long is really, really awesome. wonder if that is lead. Maybe carbon under it, maybe. Let's move back a little farther. And that's, that's it. That's the end of the barrel inside the gun. You can see that. Right there. You now we're going right back in. There's that lead or carbon or whatever that we saw before. And then we're going all the way out. Coming all the way out. And you can see the inside of this comp. It definitely has lead in there and carbon. But we are out of the Taurus barrel now. And you can see the window ha has some gunk on the bottom of it, so I'll clean that off. But this test long is pretty badass. But to me, that uh, Taurus TX-22 does not look bad at all. But let me know what you think. I'd love your opinions. But... This bore scope, I had a bore scope uh, that I used in automotive that I purchased and it was back way back in the day. I think it was like three or four grand. It was super expensive for engines and dashboards and things. I used it quite a bit in the field that I was in. But this thing is badass. I'm really, really enjoying this. But I appreciate it so much. Remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on.